Hello, my name is Andre Alexander Kolomensky, and I'll present a program I developed using the Connect device to obtain a real-time color point cloud. This project was developed during my time working at Laser Lab of the Aerospace Engineering Department at Texas A&M University. An Xbox 360 Connect device is used for sensor acquisition. A color RGB camera captures video at a 640 by 480 pixel resolution with a 30 hertz refresh rate. Also, an IR camera inside the Connect is used to acquire an IR video feed also at 640 by 480 pixel resolution with a 30 hertz refresh rate. Both the IR camera and IR projector of the Kinect make up the device's depth sensor. The depth sensor uses an active structured light approach to generate depth measurement. The IR projector emits a known pattern of IR microdots onto the scene, and the IR camera observes the displacement of this IR microdot pattern due to the scene geometry. Onboard microprocessors post-process the raw IR frames to provide a sort of disparity value for each pixel in the IR frame that directly relates to its real-world depth. The color camera is used to provide the paint job or color for the depth points obtained by the Kinect's depth sensor. This is possible by accurately knowing the correct extrinsic parameters between the color and IR cameras. These parameters can be determined by a camera calibration procedure. Merging both color and IR camera perspectives using the extrinsic parameters solves the correspondence problem between depth and color, thus creating a point cloud. The following video shows a real-time point cloud displayed during the runtime of my develop program with the aid of the Connect device. I want to thank Ruger, my friend's dog, for being a great 3D model. Here you can see as I move the mouse the perspective of the displayed point cloud changes, so I can maneuver the viewpoint to a desired location in real time, making it feel like the viewpoint of the Connect is moved throughout the video. However, the Connect remains stationary in a single viewing position throughout this video demo. Notice how I can right click on the point cloud and select a preset viewing perspective such as side, top, and front views. This way I can quickly view the geometry of an object from three orthogonal perspectives. Note the number in the top left corner displays this frames per second achieved by the displayed point cloud. This 3D view provides so much more information than a usual 2D image because it accurately captures the scene geometry as well as the color content. From viewing a point cloud the scale of the observed object is easily recognized. There are many advantages to the presented 3D imaging system. It provides a fast acquisition depth sensor that operates at 30Hz and offers a standard webcam resolution. With the aid of camera calibration, a very accurate point cloud can be achieved with up to 1mm projection error. However, an accurate point cloud can only be obtained for a depth range between half a meter and 6 meters, so the Kinect is best suited for close proximity imaging operations. Last, the Kinect offers a cheap and effective 3D imaging solution that is very portable and can be even attached to a a small aerial vehicle such as a quad rotor. Now I will quickly talk about the software used to create this 3D imaging program. It was developed with C++ using the Visual Studio 2008 environment. Two third-party libraries are used in this project. OpenNI is used to communicate with the Kinect's RGB and IR cameras and acquire video frames. Also, OpenGL is used to render the point cloud into video output. This concludes my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it.